Uh, the goal of this podcast, if you're listening, uh, pay attention, especially all you entertainers, whatever field you in, pay attention, because um, his goal is to help at least one of you. He's already helped me, so I'm pretty sure he's going to help you. The game he's going to drop, or the game him and Nicole are going to drop, and the things that they're going to talk about are absolutely relevant to anybody that has a dream, anybody that... Uh, wants to get to the next level. He's been to that mountaintop. Um, all the highs and lows, he's here to talk about it. This is his truth and in his words. So pay attention. Get to know this brother. Get to know Nicole because I promise you they're going to be around for a long time. So welcome to my art, my rules here on the DFPN. You guys have a good one. In my life, I'm gonna make a sacrifice. This is my life. My art, my rules. It's BMQ, I'm a precious jewel. You can't stop my moves. You can do me, sue me, what you gonna do? But I'm back with no nonsense. Still undefeated like the 72 Dolphins. And my face guard clean. I'm still repping the team in my UM green. Fame without fortune, that's torture. But I'm still in the struggle doing it for the culture For the M.I.A. and my baby Where money is a motivating inspiration Legends only live once But my legacy lives forever I'm a pioneer trendsetter I'm a legend in my lifetime You only get one in your life How are you doing? Hello, how's everybody doing? Yes, welcome to my, my rules That's right, this is Brother Marquise BMQ Dades County Old School Early Edition Triple OG at a rap game and yes, we are back. This is my new podcast with my lovely co-host, Nicole Key. My art, my rules. Welcome to our first episode. How's everybody doing? Yeah. <laughs> well, still, I woke up in a good mood. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was up since five o'clock this morning, falling back. I to sleep. Yeah, I was cleaning up and I was drinking coffee, but yeah. Yeah, you look all bright and fresh. Well, because I'm... I was last night at about seven o'clock. Oh wow! Yeah. How you been though? We've been. been we've, how how you been? Right. How have you been? Busy as always. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I'm always doing good when you're not chewing my ass out. So <laughs> doing good today. It's a good thing. No, it's a good thing when I'm chewing your ass out because that means work's getting done. Because you know I have something for you. Yeah, work's getting done. <laughs> yes, that's right. You are a hard worker, young lady. So when I don't chew you out, it's like, what, what are you doing for me? What are you doing for me? <laughs> Well, I try to be as pleasant and, and, and I try to be your most easiest, cool client that you have. You know, I don't want to make anything hard for anybody. So, you know, I'm not going to lie. You are my favorite. <laughs> you are helping me put together this show and uh, we're taping. This is going to be our first episode. So how are you doing? So what have you got? going on? Well, I've been working on some contracts, doing a lot of the admin part of it. So this contracts are ridiculous that the, the people give to these artists. I'm working with a composer right now, and she's, they're taking all his publishing just straight from underneath them. Oh, yeah. That's the nature of the beast in this business. Yeah, take, take. But it's, Every, everything's taken from you. You have nothing. Yeah, he didn't even know about the music underlining musical composition, what it meant. And it meant, like, pretty much the, the, um, the sh film score, like the music, the sheet music that you yeah. make. That's uh -huh. what they're taking. That's what the money is. Oh. oh. And he, he didn't know that's what he was giving away. Right. Well, and I was like, yeah, so we're, we're renegotiating that contract right now. So that's what I was like, working with on the last, um, yesterday afternoon. Right. Well, he has you, and you make sure that that young man owns everything. Yeah. Well, well I want to be fair. Like, we want to be fair, but we don't want to leave him with nothing. You know what I mean? Right. So, yeah. Hey, did you, did you see that Spotify thing that came out? About the um, trends, like the um, data about the royalties and whatnot. Uh, no, no, I haven't looked at it. Why? Wow, what's up with that? I haven't heard because about. Because they said like, like a little under percent, un a little under two percent of the people on Spotify, the artists on Spotify, uh -huh. make fifty thousand dollars a year from streams alone, from, from some Spotify alone. Oh yeah, and Spotify is not paying. No, no. Okay, look, babe. How many people are on Spotify that are artists? I have no, millions, millions, right? Uh, uh, yeah, artists, right? Did we right. have that many artists back in the day when you were doing it? No. Okay, so 2% of millions is right. a lot, right? Right, right. 
So 2% of a million is making 50000 a year on just one revenue stream, which is Spotify. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. We need to get into some of that. I know. So, I mean, with, with, we, we hopefully we um, gather some, like, a platform for you, for your, your fans to follow you, to find you, because you've been in hiding. You're finally yeah. coming out of the hole. Yeah. I'm running your fans from, miss you. Yeah, I'm running from some real cancers. <laughs> <laughs> Tell my fans I'm okay, and uh, yeah, I'm coming out of hiding, and you know I'm well protected. I'm protecting myself, so yeah, and God's good too. God's been protecting us. A lot of people, everything we're doing, God has us protected for sure. Yes, God is great. God is good. Yeah, God is good, all knowing and everywhere at the same time. Speaking of the streams and Spotify, what's up with your music? Oh well, we're getting some music together. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm supposed to be having a young man come over today. Yeah, we're going to sit down and talk. And we're going to sit down and talk. And, uh, we're gonna oh, he's going to write? He's going to produce? Uh, he's going to produce. And I have this one kid. Uh, I don't know what he's going to do. He had a major record before. He he had he had got nominated for a Grammy. And, uh, yeah, he's calling, wanting to do some things with me. But... Uh, Okay, make sure make sure that they do the split sheet before you even do anything. Just all you need oh, yeah. is their BMI or ASCAP number, and right. that's it. So I could get it, like, you know, so that I could record it, register it, and it's like, you know what I mean? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Otherwise, I don't want to have to deal with it on the back end like I've been all week. Right. Or cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, too, I have to get some information for you uh, from you for BMI as well. Okay. So. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so as long as anyone you work with, babe, just make sure that I get their um their BMI number so I can just log it in to make sure that everyone gets their, their pay, you know? All right, cool beans. And their publishing company. If they have a publishing company, I need that information too. Yes, I do. I'll give you all of that information shortly. No, from the guy, from your person that's coming over. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm quite sure he does. Yeah, so make sure you get that before you even get in the studio. Suggesting the talking uh, uh, stages with me and this guy right now. Uh, okay, yeah, but, yeah, that's good. He doesn't call, and then he calls, so I don't really, you know, know what's happening. Oh, yeah, I know that goes. Yeah, but, I got um, you know, Have you got any tracks that you've been recording? Like, do you like? Do you, do you have any on you that you've been recording? I don't have any tracks as of yet. Uh, the gentleman, uh, these, these guys that I'm supposed to be seeing, they're supposed to have all of the tracks, but I don't have any tracks right now. Did they send anything to you? No. No. Mm. The okay. tracks are everywhere. I can always... I can always find. Oh, yeah, but then you, there's samples. If they have to have samples in it, you got to clear it. Yeah, now they're not going to have any samples in it. Yeah, I prefer not samples because I don't want to have to deal with yeah, that. Yeah, not samples. And, and the tracks that I was grooving on, too, was from those guys from Germany. Those, uh, those Yeah, so they wanted to work with you. Yeah, yeah those, those, those are the tracks that I need. Okay, right? well, I gave well, you their email. All you have to do is reach out. Right, right. Yes, I do have their emails, and I was picking out. They have a gang, a gang, a gang of stuff. So they're really talented. They're yeah. really, really talented. But they're like they're in Germany. I like them a lot. They're willing to work with us. So right. you need to reach out because you have to follow through, babe. Follow through. Call them up or um, email them. Let them know the tracks that you want. Give them specifics, and right. then they'll work with us on the. They'll work with me on the back end, and then they'll work with you on the production side of it. But you okay. need to pick out the tracks so they don't know what you want. Yes, they got a gang of them. It takes days to go through all of that stuff. Well, just pick, pick, pick two right now. Right, I'll pick two or three of them. Yeah, and then and then email them. Do you have their email still? Yes, I do. Because it would be nice for you to introduce yourself to them and let them know, hey, thank you for working with us, and then give them the tracks you want to work, and then they can work on the production, and then they'll we'll work on – I already told them to we'll work on the back end for it. Okay, cool. No so, problem. yeah, you just worry about the production, okay? Okay, But cool. you got to give them what you want. Right, right, right. Okay. right. We got to find more real shit to talk about than just our personal shit with like what we're doing. You know what I mean? It's a subject or something to talk about, you know? Something. Well, well, a lot of stuff it's worth doing is like, I mean, a lot of the industry stuff, a lot of the artists don't know. So I guess it's good. It's good to see. It's probably good for them to see that you're going through it too. You oh, know? Yeah. yeah. But before they had to do everything for you, remember you were telling me that, that they just told you where to go, where to do, and you just went. Now it's like, you have to kind of do it on your own because you're independent. Yeah, a lot of but that bullshit. means you get more of the money. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. When the money starts coming, but it's a long. Oh, I'm don't even through. start. Don't even start that. Don't even start when the money starts coming because the money could have been here already if you wouldn't follow through. Don't get me mad. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's all about money, but sometimes it's not all about money either. All money isn't good money. But oh, tell me about it. Ask the match with you. 
you have to be prepared. You have to be prepared for the opportunity. And that was Thank probably you. an opportunity that I was not prepared for. So you not you weren't the only one that wasn't prepared. The other part yeah. was it either. But I'm quite sure that you still have that contact, though. You still can make it happen. Yeah, but it's double work for me to do. Yeah, well, we don't want you to work double. But I'm going to do it. Right, but we don't want you to work double. We, we, so, we yeah, it'll get, it'll get done. But still, it's like, it's because I could be working on something else for you instead of doing double work on the same thing. Right, right, right. No? Oh, we, um, we call it. So did you look into the Facebook to do the, um, the, for the show, for the show that my app, my, my roles, Facebook fan page? Uh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. You know, I don't, you know, I'm just on Facebook basically just for some of my family members that's out there. You know, I, I'm really not into all of that social media shit. Okay. But yeah, I'm, well, you better start getting into it. I know that we're going to need it, but I'm not really into all of that social media shit, you know, but it is what it is. Hey, you know what, babe? Why don't you, since, like, since you want tracks and whatnot, and you like these young artists, I remember you were telling me you like young artists and whatnot. Yeah. You should give out your um the email just to see if people want to send their tracks. Hmm. I'm you all, never know. You might, you might find a young talent, and dude. we finally set up the new email. Right. I'm always on YouTube. I like YouTube more than anything. Take the truth. Oh yeah, but if but okay, well, well, give it give a, give a young artist an opportunity, a young producer. Yeah. Yes, well, ask I, him. Yeah. Email. Right now, I have all the tracks that I need right now. I love the young music, but I have all of the tracks that I need right now. I mean, they're right there. All I have to do is just grab them, pay for them, and get them. You well, know? no, all you, all you need to do is grab them. I yeah. deal with the end of the back, the money part right. of it. Right. And you know, but you haven't grabbed them. It's been like three months. Right. Yeah. You know, young so, young producers, they don't want to win. You know, this is the rap game. Nobody hardly wants to work with anybody my age. I keep telling you that. Well, stop thinking like that. Show and proving. You got to do a lot of show and proving to get these young cats to. Uh, well, no, yes, honestly, people depend on other people too much. You need yeah. to do it yourself, and then people come to you. Yeah, that's right. So that's what you need to start doing. So get the track yeah. and do it. And then people will start seeing what you're doing and then start wanting to work with you. But people want to work. I get hit up all the time. People want to work with you. Yeah, but nobody has any cash. So they, they want everything for free. Yeah, but if they're talented enough, I wouldn't mind, especially if they have the, the platform, you know? Right. But at the same time, it's like good music. If you make, I make good music, it's all, I, I, I rather collaborate. That's better because then they're both invested, you know? Yeah. Yeah, collaborations are always cool, but it has to be with the right it has to be with the right stuff though. It has to have yeah. to be, oh it has to be worth it. Yeah. The right spirit. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's true. So what tell, tell us what else do you want to be doing with this podcast, babe? Well, basically with the podcast, man, I just wanted to tell my side of the story. It's a lot, it's a lot that that uh a lot of things that people don't know, uh, as far as me and two live crew. And, you know, and I just wanted to let people hear my side of the story since it's just so much of Luke out there, you know, not meaning to bash Brother Luke or being on on all of that. It's just that, you know, he's just everywhere saying that, you know, my, 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 this, this, and this, and this, and this. And he just acts like he goes about it like we don't even exist, you know. I understand that. And, you know, when I'm hearing that people, people reach out to Luke for all of us and Luke uh tell everybody that we don't exist you know well and here's your opportunity to give me your contact give them your email babe that we use to contact you yeah well uh well my email is what it's it's uh my my rules at gmail.com rules with and the, the rules of the z right right rules with the z my my rules at gmail.com this is how you can reach brother marquise uh if you have any music if you want to do any collaborations or if you're interested in me doing things but you know Especially on the black side of the business, you know, which business can be, you know, everybody, white, black, whatever. But, you know, Brother Luke just seems to just tell everybody that we don't exist and and that I'm not around. And I guess he tries to get those deals and everything for himself. But, you know, I'm proud of that. So that's why I'm coming out of hiding to let everybody know that I am here. I am living and uh, and I that I contributed a hell of a, a hell of a amount yeah, you did. to a uh, two live crew. And it's just yes, not just not with that guy. Well, you're the whole point of the whole reason that we're going back to file. I mean, you're the reason that's happening. Well, so yeah. you initiated that. So if it wasn't for you, you know, being willing to, you know, go forward with the whole case and me filing and whatnot, 
We would, yeah. they wouldn't be, we, the group wouldn't be able to get that right now, or, we, or at least attempt to get it back. You know, that's attempt, gonna be. They're yeah. gonna find the tooth and nail before they try to give it to us. And 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 and, and the cold thing about that too is brother, uh, brother Luke. Luke signed off on the termination uh, uh, with us as well. And, uh, you know, you would have thought that maybe he signed the termination, we signed together, maybe that would have gave us some kind of initiative to get back together to to, uh, to try to work together or something, but still no, so. Yeah, that's really disheartening. I yeah. mean, you guys did some great things together, you know, historically, and as far as the, what, hip hop, you guys did for hip hop, it would be amazing if you guys could get together. But we, we went ahead and offered the olive branch and we put it out there. So all we could do is put it in God's hands at this point. But right. Hopefully, you know, he, he gets to change your heart. And I don't know what it is that he doesn't want to. Because you guys never really had a bad relationship. Just like you guys, all the people talking here, he said, she said, all that stuff. Never had a relationship with him, period. Yeah. But see, right now, what I feel is like, you're saying your truth. He's saying his truth. A lot of it's a lot of hurt between you guys. His truth is a lie. He didn't do everything. He didn't do everything. You know? Well, that's where you're hurt. That's where your truth is coming out of. But it's he like did. once once you guys can speak, maybe, maybe I don't know what it is. He needs. There's a lot of things he's going to need to acknowledge and, yeah. and admit. He has a lot of pride. He has a lot of pride. That's he, that. No, it's that. That could be it right there. He did anything wrong. That's just how he. Is. And it's unfortunate because you guys could be like working together for the better of the kids and younger generation. Like, can no. you imagine if you guys did a benefits and stuff to for the like to throw for the concerts for for the kids and then put it back into your community? Yep, that would be. Awesome. Goes, like, and then he might have to make so much of a difference. And your legacy would be more than the music of um, like, me so horny and like all that bouncing yeah. on kick and shit. <laughs> yeah, that, it, that would be bigger than anything we've done. But you know, he'll probably take that idea and probably run. Uh, and, and, but he and needs you to do that right now and run out to the other guys right now and do it. Well, ho well, hopefully, hopefully they'll start seeing that you're about the business and start seeing that what you're doing right now, you know, putting getting a platform, being professional and, and just trying to, you know, spearhead your own career. Maybe yeah. they'll start seeing they want to jump and join you. Yeah. Well, hey, you know, that's all we can hope for. Yeah. I'm always uh, open for uh, anything positive with any of those guys, you know. You guys did some great things together. Yes, we did. And then, um, yeah, I have a thing about your book. For your book, um, I'm gonna meet with the publisher next week. Yeah, next week. Oh. So, okay. Be ready for that. Yeah. Right. Get out in the literary world, huh? Well, well, for yeah. the West Side Story, for that that track that you did with Ronnie O for Caution Crew, I'm thinking right. about making a children's book, like a graphic one, like a graphic novel kind of thing with that one. Because right. like, right. it talks about like a lot of like the police and like how you guys were treated then. Like you guys were like the, you guys were making a noise about what's happening now in this current game. I was then, you know what I mean? You're at, yes, and you guys is. were 14 years old. Yep. Yeah, because we were going to prove in our hall. The police were harassing us then in middle school. So let, let me let's give some background on this. What we're talking about? It's a, there's a tra there's two tracks that you and Ronnie O from Ronnie O and Joe Cooley. They, they were 14 years old. You guys met in Riverside, and you made a group called the Caution Crew, and you guys made these two albums. And there are 1983 that you guys recorded it, right? 12 inch singles, yeah. So some would say that me and Rodney probably had the first 12 inch single on the West Coast. Oh yeah, big time. Those are like. I kept telling you guys, those are treasures. Those are hip hop treasures right there. Like when I first came, when I first found out about it, they're like forty bucks. And now, like since I've been talking about them, they're like four hundred dollars. Like okay. I wanted one. I wanted to buy one. Now I'm like, <laughs> should have bought it when it was like forty bucks. <laughs> yeah. Are you getting those off of eBay? Well, you I want those to, but the price skyrocketed. What? So who was selling those? Clifford Richie. No, I guess whoever there's someone in Germany selling it, and there's someone else in London. I think only one person in California, but yeah, they're like they range from like 200 to 400 bucks. When I first start, like, started talking about it, they were like right. maybe 30, 40 bucks, and now, like, the ones that I see it on sale, they're like 400 to 200. It's like, damn it, I should just shut up and got it first. <laughs> yeah, for 12 inch, wow. Yeah, because the history behind it. Because a lot of people, there's some people like in one of the, um, one of the, um, what do we call it, where we, where we buy it from, one of the sites, there was a mm -hmm. comment underneath it saying that this was the first, you know, like you were just saying, the first rap on the on the LA site. Well, even when I, I spoke with Paul Stewart, the super, music supervisor for Snowfall, 
he was saying uh -huh. that they, there's not there's limited um, music on the West Coast for the like, before 1985. That's how uh -huh. I was able to introduce your music to him because okay, so have, there's nothing on this side. Likes that stuff, huh? Oh yeah. Well, he yeah he likes it a lot. Yeah. So is yeah, he, he gonna grab it? If it was done, if it was set up the way it should have been set up, like I've been telling you guys to get it set up, he right. would have grabbed it and ran with it. Right. Before before this before this season closed, you know what I mean? Right. Before this season closed, so we have uh. So it's but possible. now, but since we lagged, yeah. so hopefully you get into next season. So hopefully we can get it into next season. Yeah. Well, it's always good. It's always good, you know. I mean, those records are what, like what, thirty something years old? Yeah. Man, those are those are iconic. Those are iconic. Those need to be like in the uh, a museum somewhere, like uh, the Grammy Museum, even. Yeah, that was me and Rodney always digging in the crates. Yeah, always that's that's crazy to me. I, cause I since I work with both of you, I see little two little boys like digging. In. <laughs> yeah. And that's what that's me and Rock had a good relationship. We had a really, really good relationship, me and that dude, at that time. Yeah, you guys still are good. You just don't yeah. see each other as much. Yeah. Yeah, trying to trying to keep your career relevant in this day and age is hard for both of you guys. It's hard for the older cats. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's real hard. It's real hard for the older guys, man. It's real hard. They want us out the way. Yeah, the record they also make you go out of the way. You're legendary. They can't make you go out of the way. No, they can't, but yeah, they can't make us go anywhere, but if they could, they would. <laughs> are you typing as you're talking to us? Oh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. So are you on your new phone finally? Uh, Yeah, this is a new phone. Okay. So we ha well, let's talk about our practice run where I forgot to do the audio. <laughs> Yeah. I goofed, okay? I screwed up. <laughs> yeah, you screwed up. Yeah, you screwed up. And then up. you made me you made me feel guilty because you kept saying it was your fault. And for the first time it was actually my fault. And you were only it was your fault. And I was feeling so bad because it was my fault. fault. Nothing is never your fault. I just take all the blame. But I did what I could with it. I made a promo out of it. I, I did what I could. I made the best out of a situation. <laughs> yeah, good. One of my friends, when I when they saw the promo that was like just me and you together, like on two separate, you know, he's like, I'm gonna get a because I'm gonna get a video with me and Ice Cube and put it together and say I worked with him. I go, ass. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, everything you need. But yes, I'm gonna start working on some tracks. I'm gonna start working on some tracks. Uh, you know, just to stay busy and to keep honing the craft and the gift. And uh, I just want to find something that that fit me and 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 that's suitable for me and where I'm at right now in my life. And we're gonna throw it up on the platform, and we're gonna see, and we're gonna definitely see what it does. You know, see if I can get in the lane and kind of you know, stay you know in we, a grown man's lane. Grown man? What did you say? Grown man's land? A grown man's lane. Oh, I like that. Uh, what did you, you say? Know, Cussing in that, I was cussing. I think I was kind of mad that day. I was cussing and saying shit on here that I shouldn't have been saying, but I, you know, but I feel good. Oh, I morning. see your face. There you go. I feel good this morning. You look good too. I need to get a little. I need to get a little bit more sleep. I think I'm getting you're old. Good. I'm getting no, fucking not. turned fifty four. I know. How did? How was your birthday? My birthday was cool. It was good. Yeah, it was cool. It was cool. I celebrated by myself. I slept most of the day. <laughs> okay, now I, you sound old. Crabs. Yeah, I went out and bought me some crabs and I had me a cake. And, That's uh, awesome. I bought my own self a cake and, and I celebrated by myself. Oh, you should have called me. I would have to say happy birthday with you. Did you like my happy birthday message? My mother. Yeah, my, my mother's birthday was a few days before mine. Oh, happy March birthday. March 31st. So my daughter's birthday is coming up in a few days, April the 12th. Oh, wow. You guys are all together. Yeah, we're all together. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, did you get my birthday message? Yes, I got it. Thank you for that. Happy, happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Yay, it is my birthday. It's the only day that I feel special. <laughs> Shut up, stupid. Yeah, it's my last birthday, April 2nd, me and Marvin Gaye. That's right. Hey, babe, so why don't, why don't we tell them about how we met, how our dynamic started, how this came, how me and you came into play. So yeah, then you could give them some history about what we're doing and whatnot. Give us some education. 
fucking woke up and, and woke up one morning and looked around, looked around, and you just was there. I mean, I don't know where you came from. <laughs> you swear that's how it happened. I don't know where you came from. Where did this girl come from? Uh, you've been on ever since. You know, usually I'm good at shaking people, but I can't I can't hide from you. I don't like that. Well, I'll find you. Cut I will up. find you. You know, but you're not. I will find you. That's cool. No, well, what happened was I was working with Ronnie and I wanted to find out about like more information about him to help him out. And then I learned about you guys working together when you were little. And then I found out about Two Life Crew and that you guys not having the music because you did an interview. And your interview made me like, I had to reach out to you and ask you some questions. And the fact that you didn't know as much as I thought you would, it just didn't make me feel right. Like, I need to find out. And then when I found out what happened, I'm like, think I asked you if I could, like, you know, get your music rights back. Did you actually, do you remember what you told me when I asked you for the, if I could do it? Uh, no, 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 no. Remind me. Okay. What did you think back then that we could never do it? You're like, it can't happen. They're going to lawyer up. They're not going to do it. There's no way. You over there dealing with, uh, I mean, I, I'm not giving this guy, uh, I'm not giving this guy that much credit, but you over there dealing with, with Weinberger and you know what comes with that, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, your experience alone says like, I want, I didn't blame you. You know what I mean? Because you never you, had someone to, to help you out, so I don't blame you for thinking that. Those people, they they start acting funny when you bring family members around. They don't want they don't want you to be. They was trying to just keep me isolated from everybody. Hey, tell me, tell me, we weren't slick about it. I was quiet the whole time doing it, right? Yeah. I was like just trying to do it, get things done little by little. I only talked to people I needed to talk to. <laughs> right. Uh, I don't know, Mr. Mix is over there with Weinberger and he tells him everything. So I give I honestly give Mix Mr. Mix more credit. Um and there's a reason why he's working there because he has to, because the last time he tried to leave, he tried to get sued. You know what I mean? No. Mr. Mix, uh no, that's he not did get sued. Yeah, well, yeah, he got sued, but Mr. Mix wanna be over there for the notoriety. He wants the notoriety, he wants people to know who he is. And well, he as he should. Because just like you said, but listen, I just as you said. Like Uncle Luke taking all the credit that he created that sound and he did all that stuff. Mr. Yep. Mix is on the other end of it too, because Mr. Mix created all that production, the beat, the tracks. That, you, that. that was so hard to do. No, yep. I mean these. No, young cats don't get this. How you guys recorded me so horny? You guys had to wait for it to come on and play again on TV just to be able to record it on the VH and and then cut it and slice it, and that's hard to do. And then time it. Right. I mean, for him to do all that was amazing. But for you, for you to actually see it on TV and say we should do something with that, <laughs> that was brilliant. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And I remember Mr. Mix gave me that cassette too. I was at the Pack Jam. I think I was trying to DJ. Luke had a uh, Base Nine One Seven. He had Base Nine One Seven. It was a radio station, a pirate radio station. And I remember Mr. Mix came and gave me that cassette and said, "Here goes your shit." He said, "I just wow. did." You, What'd you do with it? Yeah, yep. Yeah. I listened to it. I listened to it. We played it. And just at that time, just playing the track with no vocals on it, we knew that it was something special. So would you, where's, it, where's the cassette at? The cassette that he gave me? Yeah. I don't know where that cassette is. Oh, my goodness. I don't know where that cassette that he gave me when he just, when he put it together, when he put it together for me to hear it on cassette. That's like a rough draft or something. Just the track. Yeah. I go Because he, he said that he already had like a similar, he already had a track done. He just had to incorporate the miso horny part. Is it your idea? Once yeah. you give him the idea, he put, incorporated it. But he already had like the base of the track already. Well, yeah. I gave I gave him both of the ideas with uh, Firecracker, Firecracker, and from the movie. Oh, really? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. See that? I, I mean, there was so, the interview that Mr. Mix did. He was talking to someone else. That, I guess that did their mixtapes or whatnot. And he was saying that how he when he would go in to get your music, he would see you guys all in the studio. Like, and then he'll see Luke like, somewhere else, like doing like so, I guess in the office or whatnot, like working on the office part. But it was you guys collaborating and doing the production and writing the songs. He said it was pretty neat watching you guys like, in action. Well, uh, all all of the hit records that I ever made was was with Mr. Mix. So yeah, you guys did some great things. Yeah, uh, he the whole thing of putting like the the um, incorporate like soundtracks like you guys are on like so many soundtracks like your music comes out on two soundtracks a year pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. 
That's amazing. That's like that's right. There's a story. See, I gotta give credit to Weis- Weisberger there because he's actually getting your music out and because he's making money off of it. That's why he's doing it. But that's still hard to do. Most most people can't even get music placed. You know, people want to get the music placed. So yeah, think about when we get your music back. Where we're we gonna put it? Like what publisher we're gonna want to give it to? Yeah. Because yeah, we get it back. We gotta get it back. But we shit, will I- get it back. I might be old and dead, dead and gone before we get all of that shit back. Don't, Don't say that. Well, then your, at least your daughter will be set up then. Then your daughter will be set up. And then at least your me. daughter will be set up. Yep. Don't say that. No, because like we didn't even think we we're gonna file. For us to even file, as far as we got, we didn't even think we we're gonna first we didn't think we we're gonna get the group involved, right? We didn't think they're gonna join us. And then right. we didn't think we we're gonna get a lawyer, you know, but then we got the lawyer, and then we didn't think we we're gonna be able to file, but then we were able to file. And then we didn't think we were going to get uh, Uncle Luke to sign. So we, we did it all. So everything that we thought we weren't able to do, we did it. Yeah. Well, so did. Uh, now that the lawyer is in the lawyer's hands, now it's up to him to like, he's, he's going to record the um, paperwork, like, you know, with the courts this week or within like, a couple of weeks, because he already filed that the record labels know. Mm-hmm. So now he's going to record it. And then I guess, like, I guess it pretty soon, like, we should be hearing back. They should be replying. But they're probably going to wait to the very end before they start replying to, you know, prolong it longer. Yeah, and the very end is when? Two years from now or something like that? I read, like, what, a year from now or something like that? Yeah, but I can't believe we've been at it for three years. We've been working on this for three years almost. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it would be worth it. Like, you, I mean, it's been 35, a couple more years won't hurt. You know what I mean? Yeah. But Weinberger so, in his grave before he give up that two live crew shit. Well, it's a lot of money. Yeah. It's a lot of money, but it needs to be back to where you got the people that made it. This little bitch ass lifestyle boy made him really give him the ego and everything. He's gonna die before he get that shit up. Well, well yeah. God's gonna. I mean, God's gonna be able to. I think. I think we're gonna prevail on this one. Yeah. I, I mean, he wouldn't let me get this far. Like, I'm nobody. I, I'm a sports writer. That's how I got. I, I'm not in the industry. I was a sports writer, and I hired a, a book Ronnie <laughs> for a show. That's how I got involved. <laughs> I, I don't. So I was like. Disrespect. Well, so, so you guys might be legends and all, but I don't give a fuck. If you guys are not working, I will be on your ass. <laughs> yeah. So I, mean, so I just did sports. I just know sports. I didn't really know music. I'm like, who did what? Huh? So I guess that's, kind of like, but I do know what I like. If I could sell it, or if I could market it or push it. But other than that, I don't belong in the music world. <laughs> I can't the reason I'm in the music world besides my daughter. If my daughter's the reason I learned it. And then at, the reason uh, I was my still- art, my rules at gmail.com rules with a Z. And you can also catch me on IG, the real brother Marquise. And I'm on, I'm Mark Demetrius on Facebook. And yes, uh, stay tuned because we're going to be hooking up a fan page on Facebook and, and we're going to hook it up to where we can have this podcast on Facebook as well. So all of my family and, 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 you know, some of the older people and the older fans that don't do Instagram, they can see me on Facebook as well. And I am very, very grateful for the fans. I love you guys. And, and thank you guys for all of the support and love throughout the years. Without you, I would not be able to be here to even have this podcast or attempt to do something. I would like to thank all of the members of the Two Live crew for that journey that we were on together. And I'm just grateful to be here, to be seen and heard and not viewed. I yep. just had a birthday, so thank God. Yep. <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> I'm an Aries. Awesome. Happy, happy, happy birthday. <laughs> you mean, don't, forget, don't forget that, April 2nd. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yes. Uh, what I want you to do too, baby, right now, I want you to, to explain the case, like what you're trying to do with your, your uh, music. So I want, I want to make sure you understand it so you can explain it to other people, too. So basically, we're just trying to get the rights back to the music so that we can obtain some ownership. Uh, you know, the business every 35 years, the the rights of the music can get reverted back to the artist and the artist can have a chance to have all of their stuff back. So we want all of our stuff back. Uh, the record label knows uh, about this law. You know, and I'm quite sure they know they know the ins and outs of it too. So we don't really want it to be a fight, but you know, we, we know what kind of people that we're dealing with. And uh, yeah, we just want our rights back. We want the name back. We want the catalogs and music and everything back that goes with Two Live Crew. As you rightly deserve, actually, you yes. guys deserve it. 
as just as we rightfully deserve. But you know, you know we, it, it's a lot of crazy characters. You know, when money comes to play with two live crew, man, people can just people just get crazy and just get way out of character. Like it's they on some mental shit. You know. Yeah, I, I commend you for wanting to put it out there to help the, the up and coming artists to get to learn from the situation because they're barely, you know, learning most, the ins and out. Yes, know? most definitely. Definitely so, help the up and coming artists. Seems like all the up and coming artists right now, and 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 from where it from where it was to now, it seems like you know a lot of these guys and 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 and, and girls and the new artists and everything they have better management, they have better deals, they have better situations. So you know, well, they're just independent. Yeah, they're just independent. Well, if you if, if you get, if you corner the market on marketing and branding, right. That's huge. If you could get that, if you could, if you could get that, like a solid, like, if you got a solid hold of that, then you're pretty much going to be good. So, because a lot of people like want to brand themselves as as the, after that, what's current now, what's trending now, but that fades. So that means your brand and career will fade along with it. So if you brand yourself after who you are and what you are, that's always going to be consistent. And that's what I want people to see about you, like Two Life Crew. Yeah, you guys have a brand, you know. But now there's a different stage for you where you I want like the, the song, the theme song. That's a different style of music. I love it. I, I think mean, have you have you heard the feedback on that? In fact, Tebo, if you like the theme song to his um podcast, let us know what your thoughts are. Leave us a, a comment or get hit us up in the email, get us on social media. Oh, if you want to contact me on my social media, it's Nicole Key, N-E-C-O-L-E, K-E-Y 33. Let me know. Tell me about his tip, his track. I call it a hit. See, I already called it a hit. <laughs> his new music. I'll give you I more. I want to hear more of that. I want to hear more of that old girl man lane. That's easy. That's I can do that shit all day. Well, That's then easy. do it. What the oh, fuck? We're gonna get something to you. We're gonna get something to you, young lady. Oh my god. You just relax, all right? You just relax. <laughs> all this is new to me. You know, I'm. You know, I'm just coming out of a prehistoric age right now. I'm coming out of a fucking cave. It, 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 it took me three years to dust you off to get you to right here. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of dust. Uh, I want to talk to nobody in the music industry. <laughs> but speaking of that, we got to give a shout out to the podcast network, that filling podcast network, and the whole family there, and letting us come aboard and helping us out, and being so very patient with us, getting oh. us going, and helping us do the technical part of it. Fault. It's all my fault. Yes, we're we're slowing and 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 everything that that the that, lagging is his fault. The technical problems was my fault. So we're my, both here. We're guilty. It's my fault. It's my fault. But my I'm fault. Consistent. I'm going to be more consistent. But thank you guys, though. Thank you guys. Uh, yeah, brother Black and Conscious East Mitty. Yeah. Conscious Rhyme and East Mitty and um, brother Black and all the shows that they do. The Real food. Yes. And then uh, Conscious Ryan, we salutes the veterans. I got to get all these podcasts remembered and we have to start promoting and marketing them correctly. So they start getting some pop. They have some great content. I listen to their shows. Cool. So we got to get, we got to bring a phone. We got to help this network grow as well as our platform too, you know? You're going to be saying, yeah, I did something right, huh? <laughs> you do a lot of things right. You swear. You come and, so, hey, you know, have you ever seen Mother Dearest? That's what I feel like. Look at you. Look at it's Marquise just fucks up all the shit. I never said that. He just fucks up everything. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I, look, I couldn't be. I couldn't showcase what I know, or I couldn't showcase my skills and my strategy if it wasn't for you trusting me. So I, I'm very honored and thankful to you for allowing me to. Yeah, that's got to be me trusting somebody in the record business. That's God. Thank you, Jesus. Isn't it? Hey, man, that's so true. This whole thing, us, is a, that, that is a miracle. Because you, out of all, all the artists, seriously, you're the most, like, isolated, most hidden. Like, for me to even found, like, I'm surprised I even was able to contact with you. Because you're, like, so hidden. Like, no one, knew, they thought, like, they didn't know where to find you. So, I like people, people were looking for you. But I so, like to run fucking underground. Yeah, I like it. But I'm here now, so you guys can find me and holler at me. You know, I want to come out and breathe a little bit and stick my head out and see what's going on out here. Yeah. You, you know, know what? You should start doing music, showing them your new music, like on, like on the podcast, showing them how you start, how you process it, how you start writing and what you like, like the beats and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Did, did gonna... you want to tell us about the new cats that you like? You said you like the new music. Did oh, you yeah. want to tell us, like, start doing, like, a, 
a review of that? Yes, yes, we can. Yes, we can. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna contact those guys uh, from overseas. Those guys. Yeah, but even yeah. but even local, like some new tracks. Like, don't you want to like give like your taste on that? Like, what you like? Do you compare it? Do you compare the new music to the old music? Do you like? What do you like? How do you like new music? Because it's a different sound now. I'm loving that new music. I'm loving that new stuff. Which ones? I like I, I like like uh I like the Migos. I like Little Baby. I like the Baby. Of course, I like Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion. I, you know, I can just look at some young girls. They kind of remind me Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion. Kind of remind me of watching soft porn or some shit. You know. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I never thought that would be on TV the way it was. I kind of like that. You know, I can turn on. A well, most men did. Most men did. But yeah. uh, that was kind of awkward for a lot of people. But, but you know, hey, it is what it is. I'm There's making, a time and place. I know, Cardi B on there bumping around and, you know, and well, all blown and shit. So I'm like, oh, look at that. All right, let's go. And turn it up, up, up. I like that shit. I like it. Am I turning red yet? Am I turning red? I think I'm red. <laughs> I, love, I love Cardi B. I, well, come I'm on. Gonna, I'm gonna go see Cardi B. I'm a Cardi B fan. I'm. A, um, I know she's married and got kids and all of that, but I like her music. Well, you do like her as an artist, so shout out to her out of respect for her artistry. Right, I got respect for artistry, and I like her husband's music as well. Yeah. Yeah, I like her husband's music as well, but you have to be careful being going to them young concerts. They got a lot of guns and shit. You know, you you have to you know have to get over there. You can't be around a lot of young guys. You know, it's crazy out here now. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> What 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 male artist do you want to meet or do you want to get to see? Uh, okay, my other artists are like I like I like J Cole, Tyler the Creator. I like Chance. Oh, you do? Yeah, I like Chance. I know that. That's um, cool. What yeah. do you like about their style? Well, uh, because this this style is kind of different. It can be kind of conscious. It can be kind of uplifting. They make kind of uplifting songs, and they have good lyrics. You know, and and. Song has good spirit, has a good spirit on them, and 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 and, and, and you know it's not it's a little different from you know from you know all of the the uh, the the gang music I guess it's called the gang culture or whatever the yeah. stuff that that's kind of hot out here right now. What do you th- what do you think about those rappers promoting like the Xanax and the drinking and all that stuff and all the tattoos and all that? Is that yeah yeah that that that's kind of crazy. Uh, I mean, you know, that's where it's gone. You know what I mean? Uh, that's where it's gone. And they, who do you think's pushing it? And that's their thing. You know, the big labels are pushing those songs like that. But did they tell you guys to do? Like, they never told you to do bark up your bodies before. Well, no, I'm not. I'm not putting on no tattoos. I don't. I don't, I don't even have a tattoo. Either do I. Huh? Yeah, I don't have a tattoo. Either do I. It's That's like funny. you're gonna like some music you're gonna like. Some you're not gonna like, but some music that you like, and you know, of course, the songs that you like tend to stick with you. I like some of those uh gang gang songs. I I, I like some of those uh songs that glorify drugs. So you know, oh, that's yeah. that album, you know, all, all oh, yeah. the beat. What's that one song? It says I'm an alcoholic. There's who sees it? I love okay. that song. I just get trouble for seeing it. My oh, daughters used to get mad. I call it what you want. I'm an alcoholic. Kind of that one song. I, I can't sing. I do not do this. What is it? That was Tad. That was the group, the alcoholics. I think Exhibit was in that group. So that's the song. I used to sing it. My daughter used to get mad. Stop singing that. But I'll be to buzz. <laughs> yeah. But, but I mean, some things are like the party songs that get you out from what your stressful life. But like, I like I like the old 90s like music. They have a song that you know. There's a message in the music. There's a song for whatever you're going through at that moment. A bookmark, a, isn't it? Bookmark a time and place. Yep, yep. And there's a song that will always take you back into a time and place. Like, exactly. Okay, I'm listening to this song right here. Reminds me of a young lady. I was in a relationship with her when this was out. I was doing this when this was out. I was kind of all right when this was out. I had a hot record, so you know. That's crazy. Music. music Music is timeless and it can always put you in a place and it can be very, very therapeutic. You know, when you, when I'm down or something feeling kind of low, I'll just turn on some music, start going through the channels and I start. Well, your theme song, your theme song is very upbeat. I love it. I could get, I, I listen to it on the way to work a lot. 
Oh, yeah, you like that song, huh? I do. Thank you. Thank it's God. uplifting, and I guess knowing what you've been through, it, gives, it inspires me to want, like, like stop being a pity party. Like, if I'm having a bad day, I listen to that. I'm like, I know, what, I know what you've been through. So when I hear that, it's like, you know what? If he's like, that's good. Like, we're blessed, you know. Like, cool. this, that's right. That's right. Because, you know, like, that's regardless, we can't let him. We can't let him get us down. Like, I got to think, like, yes, we're working our asses off, but at the same time, like, I'm working with a legendary hip-hop artist. Like, oh, my God. Like, I have to have, like, sit back and realize, like, when people approach you or talk about you, and I'm like, I'm like, wow, I'm actually doing, I'm working with him? I get intimidated. Should I call him now? Because I'm like, maybe I shouldn't say that to him. <laughs> I'm like, they want to talk to him like that. But then I'm like, I need to tell him shit, because if he doesn't get on it. <laughs> This love, this young lady abuses me. She's abusing y'all's legends out here. She just calls and cusses me out, calls me all kind of names, and 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 and. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I own it. I own it. <laughs> She's abusing me, but so okay. get to it. You know how to avoid that, right? You know how to avoid that. Yes, I know how to avoid it. Oh, there you go. The story of then, my life, women. All of my women abuse me in my life. That's I know. Yeah. I'm so lucky. We're so. We're so lucky that we call fortunately we have people that are in our corners that are supporting us and not hating on our relationship. Yeah, no shit, huh? But now yeah, we get a lot of support. Because yeah, you know, you know, you know there's gonna be Georgia. I'm somewhere in Georgia and uh probably after this airs, I probably would get a phone call. Oh really? Yeah, uh -oh. probably a call from one of my female friends. <laughs> I can't touch you though. This, I'm, this is way over there. I'm here. She's way over there. Relax. <laughs> She's way over there. <laughs> this no. is she has to do something. Relax. Relax, little girl. Relax. Well, I guess it can't it can't be two attractive people can work together and not be platonic. But it's it, hey, we're proof, right? <laughs> yes, proof. Yes, proof, you know. Hey, like I said, when you talk about business, it's always that comes priority, you know? When you can make someone money and get things going, you don't want to mess that up. You got to yeah, make so things happen. That up. No, we don't want to mess that up. No, 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 no. But my, the thing is, I'm so excited about how what we're doing. I'm talking about you all the time sometimes. And either person I'm dating, they're like, enough already. I go, aren't you excited for us? <laughs> the guys are being like that, too? What? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Like, you can talk about him a lot. I go, because well, I work with him. It's like, do people talk about their work? Yeah, well, there you go. Stop it. You got to stop talking about me when you're entertaining your uh, gentleman. I'm talking about my work. <laughs> they don't you're my work. <laughs> you're a work in progress. <laughs> Shut up. You're the fuck already. Where the fuck is he's way out there? Shut up talking about this. I'll probably get mad too. Shut the fuck up talking about his black ass already. <laughs> but I need it to work. And then if they don't support it, I'm like, you're not supporting me. You're not supporting my career. <laughs> <laughs> Forcing them to listen to me talk about another man. That sucks. I thought I just said that out loud. <laughs> That's Absolutely. fucked up. <laughs> That's what we get for being so old and single. Right. <laughs> well, I'm so I'm so driven by like, I'm so passionate about what we're doing. Like I want I want to reclaim your legacy and we, we, you know cement it. Let people know what you've actually done in history for hip hop. At the same time, I want you to you know I want people to know who you are. Like you're such an amazing person. Like you're humorous. You may have me rolling all day long just thinking about the stuff that you say. So like I want you to get back in that comedy lane that you were in. You know, I want people to see that part of you. Like, come on. Like you're the only person I know that could go on stage right now and say some like perverted shit and people be like, huh? I'll quiet. But then once you say, What? I'm too life crew. Oh, okay. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> like you're the only one I know will get the pass in this day and age that can actually say something so me too movement and still get a pass. Like cause you're too like, oh okay, like you can say some stuff right now in this day that no one else can say, but since you're two life crew, it's a okay. given. Okay. <laughs> I got away with a lot of shit being two live crew. I yeah. Yeah. Can't well, do now, it. black yeah. ass prison boy. I remember when you were trying to book it, it would book your um your shows, and I'm like, no girl on stage, no girl on stage, <laughs> no girl on stage, yeah, no girl on stage. Now you can girls away. <laughs> the best part when the fucking girls come on stage and get to, they're touching me and I'm touching them, but you can't do that anymore. Can't do that no more. They got. Too I think you're shy. Uh, you know, showtime. You, showtime, baby. Showtime. You know, you got to turn into a beat. Oh, is that it? Is that it? <laughs>
Yeah, show. <laughs> yeah, you did a good show. A lot of people like your show. It's good. Well, yeah, they need you. They need you. you guys, everyone needs each other to make it work. Yeah, yeah, shit. Mr. Mix can have that shit over there by himself. Oh, he's over there with Weinberg. Fuck that. Yeah. I wanted to a point. I wanted to a point where you guys each get your own cash handed to you separate. Like that's your money. Each you guys are you're each like each entities. That. You know, yeah. no one, no one person should have the money. Where everyone has to come to that one person for the cash. Everyone yeah. should be giving their money just like they are like their own man. That was my way of getting out of there. Yeah, I know. I commend you on that because you you went for broke by leaving there. Yeah, fuck. That, yeah. That, that's when I met you, and I was like, "Just hold on, and we'll get things going." And thank God the BMI came through, and then thank God you know you started finding work. And then, but three years later, three years later, we're barely like the seeds that we threw out there are popping up now. Now we just got to make sure yeah, we keep are. watering yeah. them, you know. So that's why I'm cussing you thank out. You. That's why I'm cussing you out. Yeah, uh, yeah, you've been a great help. You've been a tremendous help, young lady. Thank you for all of your time. Thank you for you sticking know. with me. Yeah, we, we, we've been through some... I, you can't get rid of me now. After everything we've been through, it's like, you can't. Like, I don't care. You can't. Like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna get rid of it. We've been through so much. Like, we ripped each other. Each You ripped me an asshole, and I ripped you an asshole. <laughs> you, know those, you know those shows that they do, like, on reality series? They do, like, the divorce shows or those, like, counseling shows? Yeah. They should do what was better to an artist. <laughs> we go at it. Yeah, you like my oh, at the same time. Huh? Like you have me in tears at, before I need to work at times. I'm like, oh, you asshole. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. I don't. I don't have women yes, in you tears. Do. And I'm like, fuck like, you, then. Don't. Do it yourself. Fuck, fuck you, man. then. I <laughs> am. <laughs> but seriously, we go through these emotions. But then, and then when we're on a high together, we're like our best friend. We yeah. and you just get through. <laughs> <laughs> he's 50 something years old he ain't man he still don't know how to talk to women i can hear that now we get all of that shit now what are you making her cry for oh stop yeah. it's a, it's a, i'm talking about the, the, he makes every 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 girl cries over when they're passionate about something and that's a good thing though if we're upset by it it's because we're passionate about it about it okay so you and your, your girl wants to lay off <laughs> <laughs> no, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> I'm gonna catch a lot of flack from this shit. Don't say that. Don't mess up my little my little social life with my babies. Oh, oh, with your babies? You just mess yourself up, dude. My my women friend. I only have one anyway. Oh, okay. Girl, yes, I only have one girl. By the way, I, I haven't known you to have multiples. No, no, I only have one girl. Shit, I'm getting yeah. old. I can't. Just, just, that, that's just. No, but every time, since I met you, I've only known you to only date one girl at a time. Yeah, one girl. I only have one girl, and and I'm trying trying my best to keep this one. Yeah. Yeah. And hopefully it works, and I hope I hope it's where she's like uplifting you and encouraging you. You know what I mean? Not oh yeah. Keeping you back. It's gonna help me help you. You know what I mean? Because she's pushing it, and she's encouraging him. That gives that helps me out. Well, you're like family, Nicole. So you're like family with all of us. So you know, we all have to yeah. accept. I'm on. the little sister that bugs everyone. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you little scrappy little Latina Black girl. You're a little scrapper, huh? Little fucking Chihuahua. Hey, Ronnie doesn't say I'm not a punk for a reason. Nicole ain't no punk. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I think we should close this out. Cast get the uh, get some following. Let people know. So are we gonna do the virtual event? Let you, let the people know about the virtual event if we want to do that. Yes, we are going to have a virtual event coming up soon, everybody. We want you to tune in and support us. It's going to be me and Nicole Key with our rules and Brother Marquise. I'm going to be the host. Nicole it's Key. It's going to be like a meet and greet. And it's going to be a meet and greet also. And uh, yeah, man, we just want to welcome everybody. We want to thank everybody for their love and support. And we want to show our love and support as well. So we're going to let so, you. Yeah, we're going to try to keep it small. I'm gonna yeah. try to keep it small so that way people can ask questions with you and talk to you and get to know you and figure out what they, what you know because there's so many fans out there that want to ask you so many questions that well, yeah. adore you. I love my fans, you know. I love the fans. I love the fans more than being famous. I know. I more the money, the people, the people is where it's at. You know, just get out there and to interact with people and strangers and to make them laugh and to make them smile and to hug them and get some of that energy. That's the good shit. That's what I like. Yeah. That's the good shit. That's what I like. 
Yeah, I, I like love people. I like that. I like I like to mess with people. I like <laughs> Oh, I know you mess with me a lot, ass. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like just being me. I like just being me. I couldn't really beat me over there with Weinberger and two live groups. I was on some other shit. It's a, it a weird spirit with that shit. You were so young, though. Yeah. You were so young. Weird fucking vibe over there with that shit, you know. And it's, you were young, too, babe. People are getting money. It's, you know, that fame shit. You get up into that fame realm. It gets weird up there. It's a different spirit. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's a different It's kind of scary, too. Yeah, I when I feel when I feel it coming, like when I feel like the tension coming, I get nervous. So I think we should close this out, but we're good. I think it's exactly an hour. Yes, definitely an hour. Yeah, it's exactly. Until the, until the next time we see each other again, in our next episode of My Art, My Rules, Brother Marquis saying peace. That was good. That was, that good. was, that was good. That was yeah, good. Yeah, that was the closing. Now do the intro. Now do now do the intro again. That, yeah. Didn't that intro. No, in case I don't like it. The sacrifice. <laughs> this is my time. My heart, my